Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakudash, which in the Hebrew tongue means all praises to Yahweh, the Most High. That's his true name in the name of his son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His true and correct name is Yahweh Shai. Rakakudash means Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well through the scriptures, peace of the hopeful elect. And the point is, through the scriptures. All right, so this would be a response to uh, Wi Fi cold cuts, persecution from Israelites and the truth. Uh, first off, this guy said the name of the Most High with his head covered three times. All right, so the elder Demashapai put this scripture here, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, that hat, his head is covered, dishonoreth his head. All right, and the elder put have have enough respect to remove your hat when speaking the Lord's name and quoting His word. All right, so there it is. It's a, it's about the scriptures, man. You guys going off with the scriptures, and the spirit of the Lord corrects you through His men. That's all it is. All right, uh, this is another scripture proving that. All right, it ain't like nobody coming off the dome and and, and teaching according to their feelings or emotions it ain't about nobody's feelings or emotions it's, it's about the word of the lord all right so this is second timothy 3 and 16 it says all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, all right? So it's, it's profitable for doctrine, teaching, instruction, and truth, right? For reproof, a proof that by which a thing is proved or tested, conviction, evidence, to convict, to confute, to refute. So if someone go against you, or if a brother, it, see you guys caught up in emotions, all right? There's a lot of brothers. I love all my brothers, but... First of all, Yahweh Shai said, he that do the will of my father, that's my mother, and that's my brother, and that's my sister, okay? So you can't just go out there half-cocked and do it according to what you, what you feel. You got to do it according to the word of the Lord. So it says, uh, right, correction. So we use the scriptures. The scriptures correct you. It's not men, but that's what you see. You see men, all right, and whether they might come uh, a little bit too harsh for you, all right, you get all emotional. But at the end of the day, like like I just read the scripture the elder put the, uh, in the Corinthians about the man, the man said, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, three times with his head covered. He went off according to the scripture. The, the scripture was there. We read it. All right, said for correction, for instruction in righteousness, verse 17, that the man of the Most High may be perfect thoroughly furnished and you guys refusing being thoroughly furnished just halfway furnished okay unto all good works not just knowing the deep breakdowns like the elder yashwama did his video you guys just jumping out there into all the deep the deep breakdowns and 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 forgetting that uh the corinthians prophesying with your head covered boom all right uh uh the jeremiah 10 uh uh Verse one on down. Be not like the heathen. Guys with long. Any Anybody that ain't. You, you can't. First of all, we in captivity. We can't even properly serve the Lord because we under the bondage of this devil. So you mean to tell me the laws we can keep, you not going to keep? It ain't hard. You don't. What purpose do you have to have long hair? Okay. You got guys with long hair. What in your camp? And we, and we put names on it, man. You, you, you people over there in Wi-Fi cold cuts, Adam Abbott, I saw some guys over there with long hair. And then on top of that, long dreads. All right? So that's against the scriptures. So we can just totally throw, throw, throw you out the way. But instead, when you teach and you go on and go forth, if you, if you, if you write, then I don't see any brothers do response videos to y'all positively. Like, yeah, they was right, you know? You know, add unto it. But then when somebody got some, when the correction come in, now nah, it's a problem. And then you guys come with that fake air of humility, and the scripture speaks about that too. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this other scripture. 
Because not only do you guys go off on the mark of the beast, which is so very important, and that's the point. Because the guy said in the video, man, if, 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 if you tell us, you know, if you think it's this and we think it's that, but then we just keep it moving. No, we can't keep it moving because you misleading the people. So we got to deal with that. It ain't no disagreement as far as like a, a, a color scheme or a name or something that is irrelevant. That is a major topic, all right, that people can be misled on. So when you go off and speaking about what that is, we're not going to leave that alone. That's going to be addressed, thoroughly addressed, all right? And if the spirits stay on brothers, uh, brothers to keep uh, coming at it from dis different angles, it's going to be thoroughly addressed. But this is uh, Sirach 19. And just because a man may speak harsh or, you know, may say a couple swear words, so to speak. All right. That don't mean the spirit ain't dealing with him. All right. <clears throat> just because you and just because you guys speaking all humbly and uh, so to speak, a man seem and and and, uh, and not speaking rough. That don't mean that you right. All right. So this is a uh, Sirach chapter 19. And there is verse 26. There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit. Yeah, cause you, you guys over there, yeah, man, you Joe, you you act like like you getting picked on. You coming in, you coming in that I'm getting picked on spirit. All right, but but at the same time you feel like you got it. Talking about some guys jealous, jealous of what? Verse 27, casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not where he is not known, he will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. And if for one of power he be hindered from sinning, yet when he find an opportunity, he will do evil. Let me jump to uh, the comment board. See, that, that pride, that one of power, that one of uh, followers, that that's that's that can blind people, man. You get a little, you get a following, you know. Oh, I'm uh, I'm fifty thousand views, twenty five thousand views. Comment board lit up, live show lit up. Uh, hey, even when um, let's look at what Gamaliel said about that. And this is Acts. Okay, this is Acts chapter five verse. Let me see. It says, uh, this Acts 5 and 36. It says, For before these days rose up Thutis, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. So basically, that's what's going to happen to your congregation. If you continue on teaching madness, all right, then they're going to eventually... They will they eventually, if the Lord, you know, have it be so, they'll wake up to the hundred percent truth. After verse 37, after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him. He also perished and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say to you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found evil to fight against the Most High. And if you're coming up against what we're teaching from the apostles and elders, a great millstone on down, then you're fighting against the Lord. And this is why. Not because it ain't about uh, 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 the praise, the, the, the worship of men, but it's full of proof. The, it's clear that the Spirit of the Lord rested upon them before it did us as young men. And everything we've been taught is foolproof. So that's the point. It's foolproof. It can't be gainsay. You can't come up against it. All right? It stood the test of time because what? That's the word of the Lord. Psalm 12 and 6. The word of the Lord is pure. Tried seven times. Roughly paraphrasing. All right? So this is a... Uh... Now, this is why I want to come at it from this angle, too. This is why... This is this is for you guys, okay? Wi-Fi cold cuts and, and, and other people who may, you know, come across this video and may be slightly confused. Because if you say the mark of the beast is not the chip, but don't take the chip, then you're throwing out a certain ideal. 
okay? This is like for for someone who's like on the cusp of not really, you know, knowing and not really knowing how to how to behave or prepare or you know what I mean, or, or know the serious of it. You throwing out a certain idea, and Lord willing, through the Spirit, we gonna get through it. All right, let's go to the comments. Uh, this is King Madu. Okay. He put some cop. He put some comments. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Yeah, the brothers out there in Iowa, uh, they did a topic uh, talking about rebuke as part of our heritage, as part of our culture, all through the scriptures. Even righteous men got rebuke. King David said, "Let the righteous smite me." All right, it shall be a fine oil. All right, so that's a that's a hell of a test. That's a that that really proves a man's that really shows you about a man's character if he can take correction. Right, it's hard taking correction, but it's necessary. Let me see. Look at some of these comments. Come on, god damn it. Right, okay. It says King Madu. This Eliezer Yasharala. It says King Madu. They specifically said do not take the RFID chip. Yeah, they did say that. But they didn't say that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Because the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, those who take that got a specific set judgment, okay, that's prescribed in the scriptures. That's like a that's cause that's that's like a horrible, a horrible sin. Cause you, you got certain scriptures where if you uh you got certain laws, if you break them, you'll be put to death. You got certain laws, if you break them, you'll be you'll receive lashes. You got certain laws, if you break them, you'll be uh, uh separated from the camp, banished. But you get this particular one right here. You get the RFID chip, then you're going to be burned with fire and brimstone, as the Lord said. All right? King Madu responded to him. Eliezer Yasharala, they said the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. RFID chip. People in their live stream was asking, so it's okay to take it. I did videos on it, and so did other brothers at GMS. They don't believe the mark of the beast is a chip. Yes, they said don't take it, but they didn't say mark of the beast is the chip. They think it is a philosophy and not the chip. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But let's go to uh, let's go to numbers. This is a uh, numbers chapter fifteen and thirty-two. It says. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in ward because it was not declared what should be done to him. And Yahweh said unto Moses, the man shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. Why? Because that man defiled the Sabbath. There's the, the Lord... Uh, uh, Esteem his Sabbath. The Sabbath is important to the Lord. All right. Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Okay. Now this is uh. Let me see Jeremiah. Seventeen. And twenty. It says, and said to them, Hear ye the word of Yahweh, ye kings of Judah, and all and all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, even that enter into. Even that enter in by these gates. Thus said Yahweh, take heed to yourselves and bear no burden on the Sabbath day. So don't work. Nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Neither carry forth the burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. Neither do ye any work. But hallow ye the Sabbath day as I commanded your fathers. So we are commanded to keep the Sabbath. Okay. Now I got a point I'm going to make. But let me read uh, Isaiah 58 13. All right. It says, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh, honorable and, uh, honorable, and shalt honor him not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own wor words. So if basically, you know, you honor the Sabbath, if you keep it properly, verse 14, 
Then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh by Shem Shai, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh have spoken it. Now with all that being said about the Sabbath, about the seriousness of it, about uh, how to keep it, about the reward for keeping it, who can say of, of all of Israel right now that they, can, that they are properly maintaining the Sabbath? You saw what happened with the man gathering sticks. He was put to death. But the answer is nobody. Nobody can properly keep the Sabbath. But what do we have? We have something called grace. All right. Now, this is the proper application of grace. Okay. And you so-called Christians, you say you, you, you have a pork chop. You have a piece of chicken. You know, you be out to eat. And I witness this. You out to eat. You got every you got you got beef to choose from, you got chicken to choose from, but then ooh, pork tenderloin. You grab the pork tenderloin. So grace ain't for that because that's what you chose. Alright? You had an option and that's what you chose. Uh let me get the scripture. Alright. This is Romans uh Let me see. This is Romans mm -mm -mm. Romans 5 and 20. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, Grace did much more abound. So, yeah, mercy, like the Lord had mercy on us, right? When he, he sent his son to die for our sins, that through him we can receive grace when we fall, when we miss the mark. Verse 21, that as sin have reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life. So you got to be practicing righteousness to receive grace. All right. Grace reigned through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord. Verse 61, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Verse 2, the most I forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So the point is, if you, if you teach that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip, but don't take the chip, you throw out the ideology that if that's your last option, then what else can you do? Because the Lord told us to keep the Sabbath. The Lord, uh, that man got killed for dishonoring the Sabbath, but we have no, we have no, that's not an option right, right now for us to, uh, properly obey the Sabbath, unless you got your own business and you can, and you got that much control over your life or you, you know, but that's few, far and in between. That's where grace step in. You ain't got no choice, no control over the matter. So people will take that ideology and bring it to the, and bring it. In regards to the mark of the beast, the chip, because what what they gonna say? Well, I got kids. I know the Lord don't want me to die. How, how I'm supposed to live? How I'm supposed to eat? How I'm supposed to do this and that and the third? All right. The scripture says, "Through the fear of the Lord, we through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men." So you take when when you taking away the mark of the beast from Revelation um thirteen verse sixteen on down and the the, the mark is the chip the mark is physical it's the rfid chip then you taking away revelation 14 and 9 which speaks on the punishment from it so when you 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 just took away the the, the fear and the terror that comes with taking it and then you gave them an ideology of well if i'm forced to take it if i if i gotta feed my kids if i don't have no option if if that's the way society well then i gotta do it that's neglecting see when you go off on certain scriptures, you get to neglecting more and more and more other scriptures. Because the Lord said he was going to feed us, all right? The Lord said, uh, let me see. Try the world. This is Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. You got to keep the word, all right? 100% foolproof. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The, the mark of the beast, that's the hour of temptation, man. Don't nobody want to starve to death, all right? That's why that's, that's, why that's so important. 
That's, that's the mark of the beast, the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. Now, then the revelation said he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. Well, they got it. They got it popping off in, in Asia real good. It's in Europe real good. One fifth of uh, uh, Swit was it Sweden? It either it's either Sweden or Switzerland. One fifth of the population got it. You got the um the three the 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 the, the business over there in um, uh, Minnesota three square last year chipping the employees. You have chipping parties where they like little cafes over there and people just you know you got the rapper kid boo. So you got different. You know, different sections of the world, this chip is popping off, all right. But it ain't, but it ain't mandatory yet. When it becomes mandatory, that's when it's, that's the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, all right. So that's the importance of the uh, the mark of the beast being the chip when you teach it. You can't just say don't take the chip, but it ain't the mark of the beast because you taking away this here. All right. This is a uh, revelation 14 and nine. It says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast. All right. So if you worship the beast, you down with his philosophy, faggot, homosexuality, the so-called white men forever ruling while you were, while you were a, a, a debt slave and his image. All right. And we see his image is going into his philosophy because the image is a, a, a image of figure of likeness. All right. The image of the son of God into which true Christians are transformed is likeness not only to the heavenly, but so what's the image of the son of God? All right. What's the image of whom the world Italy called Jesus? His real name is Yahushai. The volume of the book. He come in the volume of the book. It speaks of him. So his image is righteousness. Which comes from um, which the, which was given to him from his heavenly father, which is the truth of the Holy Bible. The so-called white man image is exactly opposite of that. What's the opposite of righteousness? Total wickedness. All right. It says and and receive his mark. Now his mark, which we go into constantly, and then we get then we uh we we uh the, the scripture says uh. Uh, seek seek after the Lord diligently. There's many scriptures on, about being diligent, all right? But then uh, we get scoffed at for looking up words. But Karagma, a stamp and printed mark of the mark stamped. I'm just reading. Thing, carved, sculpture, graving work, etching, that is a stamp, badge of servitude. Right, and when you get that RFID chip, ain't that a badge of servitude? Aren't you a perpetual, a perpetual slave? All right, you you know how much power you're gonna give. You know how you you basically gave up any control over your life. All right, you gave up a, a great control of your life when you get that. What if they turn your chip off? What if they want to tax you when you don't agree to it? You know, they gonna they gonna get it digitally. They gonna get it how they want to, and they say it's a, it's cyanide in there. So if you want to be unruly and unrestly, they just hit a little switch and, and just get rid of you. Verse 9, it says, And the third angel, 14, Revelation 14, 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, verse 10, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's the, that's the condemnation for the mark of the beast. All right, which is the RFID chip. When you say the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip, you say that those that get the RFID chip will not receive this condemnation. All right, you you put out that idea ideology that don't take the mark of the beast unless it's forced upon you. Then what can you do? Because you got to feed your kids. All right, and then the, the one long cared light skinned guy with the glasses and I quote you said in the video you said well it's going to be a famine out there so ain't, ain't nobody going to eat and what and that statement that I said was stupid and it sounded just as stupid when it came out of your mouth because the Lord said my servants shall eat and you shall be hungry all right 
So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Kahalai Mlai Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rekakudash. Shalom.